What's up guys, we're back PC Mondays on Project Shield. Today, it's all about Assassin's Creed 3. So we've been getting a lot of great feedback and keep those comments coming, but I wanted to address a couple questions and concerns that we've heard. First of all, does Shield need to be near your PC to stream those PC games? The answer to that is no. You can actually be in any room in your house as long as you have access to Wi-Fi and your Project Shield with you, you got your gaming on the go. So let me set the scene for you guys. I've been gaming all day, I'm at my desktop, it's going pretty well, but I'm getting tired. I want to get comfortable, but I don't want to stop gaming. So what do you do? Well, you hit the couch, you pick up your Project Shield, kick up your feet, get comfortable, and pick up right where you left off. All right, here we go, Assassin's Creed 3. Now, we're gonna get back to the game. We're continuing Desmond's journey in the Animus as he, you know, relives his ancestors' memories. His goal is to get the information he needs to avert the 2012 apocalypse. You can tell by the old-timey clothes and the settings that were set in a historic setting in, in America. This is actually Boston. You can also play in scenes in New York and the American frontier. It's actually set in the American Revolution period, kind of just before, during, and after as you go through the game. Fans that are familiar with the franchise will find that the game continues the tradition of an open interactive game world presented in the third person perspective and kind of focusing on stealth combat. So that was a quick look at Assassin's Creed 3 on Project Shield. Make sure to tune in next week for another PC Mondays. Don't forget, Thursdays are Android. And follow us on Twitter, at NVIDIA. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash NVIDIA. And find us on Google+.